Right. Yes. All right. Nice. Yamaha rackets. It's been a hot minute since I bought a storage locker. If you're just joining, my name is Carl. I buy abandoned storage lockers and flip the contents online for profit, mostly on, on eBay. I also do a little bit of estate sales and some thrift stores um, to bide my time, but mostly storage lockers. I have a ton of inventory, so I haven't been buying lockers for about a month or two. This one, I just could not pass up. Um, it has a bunch of tennis stuff in it. Uh, I paid up a little bit for it, so this is a bit more of a gamble than uh, usually I have a little more of a sure bet. Um, but very excited. Let's take a look at what we got So I'm out of practice. I have to get cash and get gas and then I'm meeting a friend there uh, Gonna show the, the rope so be there momentarily Yeah, I can get a card after All right, let's dig in Interesting. That's what I'm hoping has the most money in it. You ever see, have any the, mice or anything come out? There's always mice. <laughs> Not live ones. It's usually just droppings and stuff. Oh, I thought you were going to say that's better. It is better. Alright. Yes. Alright. Nice. Yamaha rackets. I'm going to have to look that up. Well, this bag is garbage. Oh, yeah, it's rusted. All right. All right, I learned something. To bust open a seam, just take the knife at the, uh, <laughs> at the seam. All right, what'd I say? I want four rackets. There's five. So we got Wilson head. I used to have this one. TIS2. I think that's only 20 bucks. Another Wilson and three Yamaha. Five rackets in there. Six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Might have half, half my money back there. Only half of them are sellable. Alright, tripod, easy up. Baseball bats, weights, accessories. Time to jump. There's a the light, there we go. More weights. Maybe a volleyball net. There's a pallet in here. Weight bags. Tons of these tennis ball carriers. Oh, that popped right off. Alright, this will be interesting. I don't know what I'm standing on. I don't see any crazy things sticking out, but it definitely adds up. Alright, didn't make it through too much, but got two of these. Still have all those rackets. There's a ton more weights in here. Like this? this Milwaukee, what do you call this? Folding dolly table. Trigger light. I think I'm just going to organize for the next hour and then do a load tonight. Maybe two loads tonight. Pick up the rest tomorrow. Hopefully, I can break this down now. I don't need to rent a truck. The weight bench. Uh, there's another table. I see a bunch of boxes with some finance books. Pretty predictable so far. Alright, quick update. So I can't really, I don't have signal in here, so I can't look up real time. I made one trip to the car with just the tennis bag to go bring the car up. Took a look at the Yamaha rackets. I don't think any of these are Yamaha. Yamaha rackets look like they're selling f for that model $40 upward. So I'll do a little more research, but that's very promising. I got three of the same model. So far, about 200 pounds of weights, which will very much help get me into at least a break even. I thought this was a 45 pound, but 10, super light. So gotta spread these out so I don't break my car with all the weight. I'll check back in a minute. All right, I'm a little more jumbled today than normal. I'm going to run this to the car, probably one more trip to the car and then take a load home. I'm hoping I can do this in three total trips. Um, we'll see. I got access to this till 10. It's only three something right now, so 
I'll definitely do two trips tonight, maybe one in the morning. I gotta pick up the deposit either way, so probably not break my back. The one thing I'm changing on this one, the dump is on my way home from here, so I'm gonna do better at organizing stuff here in the unit, take it to the car once I know it's something I'm at least taking home. Anything that's obvious trash, I'm gonna leave in the unit until my last load, so I can just take it to the dump on my way instead of dropping it home, sorting, and then going to the dump. So. That's it, taking this to the car, and I'll be back. All right, got my gloves. First thing loaded up in the car, believe it or not, I've never found a Funko Pop in a storage locker. You'd think I would have by now. And I know a lot of them aren't really worth a ton, but it looks like I got pretty lucky. These are going for 40 to 60 plus dollars box. I'm sure condition is, is important, so there's some dents and creases, but um, looks like it's in good shape, except for that tape on it here, but I don't know if there's supposed to be a factory seal on the top, but at least 40 bucks, so I'm getting more optimistic about this as we go. Alright, we got car bike rack, gotta look that up, but maybe another 40, 50 bucks. Um, this set of Task Force, they're pretty heavy duty, uh, saw horses, one pair, uh, gotta look those up, but hopefully another 40, 50 bucks for the pair there. So, grinding out the value, we'll see what else we got. I gotta break this down, I think tonight. It's the weight bench, and I think it's missing pieces anyway, so it might end up getting trashed if it's not a, a full set. I do need a, oh, it's upside down. I do need a squat rack at the house, so if it works, maybe I'll hold on to it, but making a dent, those boxes have books, almost all of them, I think, so see barrel I checked is empty um, so maybe I'll just I don't know we'll see that'll fit in the car since it's empty second loads done okay hang this camera that's a um, soccer goal skills same brand as something else we found some of the baseball stuff um, so I'm gonna run home unload the first heavy load um, come back do a little more time sorting and organizing Hopefully fill a really solid second load um, and have mostly trash left for tomorrow coming through. Maybe a few things to take take home, um, but I'm going to go hydrate, refuel, and be right back. Right, I've dug through almost everything. Got a lot out there. I'll show you in a second. So I got car stuff, a um, bunch of keyboards, which maybe some money in there. Uh, hopefully some miscellaneous electronics. Um, mostly trash. Mostly paper trash. Um, actually, I don't think I opened that bottom box. Looks like some books. Uh, another keyboard too. That is a bunch of hangers. And that one is one of those cheap, like, $20 lamps from Target. Dismant dismantled, so. Uh, mostly trash. I'll probably take this apart tomorrow. And thank God that barrel's empty. So, this bin I've mostly dug through. That'll be one of the last things, and this should be one or two trips tomorrow. Hopefully that pallet fits. Oh, the pallet's pretty narrow. Fits in my car, and then uh, another table there. I'll show you actually. I'll show you out here now. So, this is what's gonna go in the car. I might come back for a little bit more. Maybe that box. It wouldn't be a storage locker without a jar of money. All right, I'll check back. All right, day two. Let's get it. I don't have that much time, so I gotta be efficient today. Breaking down this, it's gonna be first, getting that barrel home, and then the rest will be super quick. One trip and then one trash trip. This is why it's not glamorous as it might be to dig through the trash. I kinda got to. A couple bucks can change. Stamps add up if you find a couple booklets, a couple pair of Guess um, glasses, two mag lights, phone. I don't know where the other one went. I think it's iPod. Charger, I need to look at what this is. Might not be anything. And then probably a Galaxy tablet. So, all that was in bags filled with food and receipts and just garbage so gotta dig through it that's where the money's at 
I'm about to make a miracle happen. This car is gonna fit this nine foot long cardboard thing. Magic. All right, this is working perfect. This is the last stuff to go in the car to take home. This bar, and then this will be the last trip for trash, and then like two items that I'll put on the bottom to take home. So, trash, 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 all trash, pallet. There's two boxes behind there, and that table, and this other piece of the uh, weight bench, I'll put down low, put all the trash on top, take it to the dump, and then I'll be done just in time for my other work. It's a little rainy, but quick update. So I'm driving home. I fit this 55 gallon drum in this tiny car, plus that 10 foot. I think what it is is a paper um, backdrop for photography. But either way, um, magically fit everything and I'll be right on time with my last trip. All right, the car is empty. I'm heading back for the trash pickup and I should be done. I'm still amazed that I fit a 55 gallon drum and a 10 foot long poster, whatever, um, in this car. So never ceases to amaze me what I can fit uh, to avoid getting a U-Haul. Uh, this should all be done quick. I'm definitely gonna do this as two videos because uh, this was long enough and then I'll do a second video with a breakdown of if I made any profit, which right now, Definitely looks like some profit, but I don't know if it's going to be a, a worthwhile <laughs> total or not. We'll see. Hopefully it's a little more than I expect. That's it. Barely fits in my car, but just enough to get to the dump. And locker is empty. Alright, got my deposit back, and you can tell it's filled with trash. So, off to the dump, and then I'm done for the day. And then can sort all the stuff that's on my porch later tonight. or. Tomorrow. We'll see. I got other work to do.